I'm Kirsty and I'm going to take you through the Google Analytics connector for Beam. First of all, start off by creating a connection. To do this, choose the Google Analytics connector from the drop-down list. Fill out your credentials and click Account. This will bring up all the accounts associated with these credentials. When it's loaded, choose the account you want to look at and click Select. Click Save and this will create your connection. Your connection will be displayed in a small table. Now I'll take you through a basic workflow. Choose the connection you want from the table and this will take you to the pivot table view. Once the data is loaded in the pivot table, you will notice all the metrics you have available are listed on the left hand side. We would like to focus on the number of visits to our website. Just drag and drop this measure onto the measures column to generate a query. You will notice above the measures we have the attributes that you can use to analyse the measures. We'd like to analyse the number of visits within a time frame, so we're choosing the year attribute. We add this to the column tab at the top of the pivot table so we can drill down into our results by month. This automatically is generated in a grid format, but because we are dealing with time data, we want to switch to a line graph to give us a better visualisation. As you can see, our website traffic has sharply increased and then sharply decreased. Because the month of July is not over yet, we'd like to deselect it from our analysis to give a more accurate overview of our data. We can also add a trend line to verify that our overall website traffic has actually increased. The goal now is to understand why we get this increase in traffic, so we're going to decompose our data even further by applying filters to determine the most important factors. First we decompose by source which will give us a graphical representation of all our source traffic. As you can see there are too many to be properly made sense of, so this is where we're going to use filters. We set the number of visits to 317 to filter out the smaller sources. Then we're going to change to a pie chart view for a better visual of our data. You can see there are four main sources of traffic, the biggest ones being direct traffic and visits via Google. Now we want to see if they're all the same in terms of quality. A good way to measure this is by average time spent on page. By creating a calculated measure we've created a formula to determine which sources generate the most time on average spent on a page. By dragging this measure onto the colour tab, this reflects results by the strength of the colour. So you can see that the stronger the pink, the more time is spent, and the stronger the green, the less time is spent. You can change the colours to suit your preferences by clicking on the colour legend in the right hand corner. Choose the colours from the colour chart and click OK. This video was just a very quick and basic overview of what you can do with the Google Analytics Connector. The goal is to be able to perform clickstream analysis at the speed of thought through calculated attributes, dynamic filters, dynamic segmentation, geospatial analysis, dashboards, data mashup and interactive data visualizations. So why not try it out yourself by downloading the free trial? Setting up takes only a few seconds and then you'll be well on your way to analyzing your Google Analytics data.